Hey everybody, welcome back to another week of chaotic lore. Today we'll be covering a few locations all interlinked together. City of Kinsep, Star Towers, and Tablet of Sanctuary. City of Kensa was an ancient Mopedian civilization led by then ruler Kensa. What we know about the king is in the Chaotic Merulian Chronicles novelization, which I've covered on the channel already. Given the images that's presented to us, City of Kensa bears a resemblance to ancient Egypt, which makes sense since the Mopedian's main locations has a desert theme. The artifacts found in this location also has an Egyptian influence, like the Ankh of Kinsep, which resembles an Egyptian Ankh, and the Sun Chariot of Kinsep, which resembles an ancient Egyptian chariot presumably used by the king himself. King Kensa was known as a benevolent ruler, right up there with the likes of Alexander the Great, Augustus of Rome, Persiles, the leader of Athens, and the Duke of Zhao. But given the Egyptian components so far, it will be something like King Ramses II. You can find City of Kensep, Star Towers, Tablet of Sanctuary, Ankh of Kensep, and Sun Cherry in Alliances Unraveled. There's also a battle gear found that would have been used by the late High Muge Kalai, called the Scarab of Kalai which is based on the Egyptian depictions of a scarab. In Chaotic Merulian Chronicles, we primarily follow the Mopedian Muge Kali, Merulian, that leads us to the events of the first Merulian invasion. Kali was the Mopedian High Muge and advisor to Kensep, the king of the Mopedian tribe at the time, who founded the city that would be named after him, similar to Kiru village being named after its founder. When Kali discovered the dubbed Kalinian Sphere, knowing the, uh, knowing the poten potential danger this item possesses, she kept it secret from everyone except a couple of apprentices until she fully grasped what the sphere's limits are. However, the sphere was stolen by the Marillion named Mahadil. He used it to strengthen his tribe and begin brainwashing other creatures in a hostile takeover. Kalai came clean of the sphere to her king Kensep. He began to gather his forces to mount a counterattack against this unknown enemy, but the odds wasn't in his favor. All other three tribes were largely brainwashed by the Merulians. Soon, even Kensep was under their sway. Sometime after escaping the Merulians' clutches, Kali somehow found a way to neutralize the Merulians and drive them through the doors of the deep mines. The events of the first Merulian invasion supposedly happened over 2000 Solons ago, or years in their case. So the majority of information is lost to time, which means we don't know what happened to King Kensep or how his city fell to ruin. Maybe it could be like most civilizations when the population grows and expands along with the evolution of technology, leaving most ancient customs obsolete. 
For more of Kalai's adventures, please watch my review of Chaotic the Marillion Chronicles. Over time, rumors spread that Kalai's resting place was somewhere in Star Towers of Kenset. Toffel, the famed Mapadian archaeologist, had a dream he always wanted to achieve, to be the one to find the long sought after Kothika. Not for power or conquest like the tribal leaders, but for the glory, the love for adventure, and the no knowledge of Param's history. After the second Marillion invasion, things simmer down enough so he can pour his for focus into his goal. Gathering his maps that might point towards where the Kothika might be located, Toffel instead came upon the ancient ruins of the city of Kensep. Toffel ran back to the Mapenium Oasis to speak with his leaders to tell them of his discovery. Pleased with this, the royals funded Toffel's expedition in the ruins. Upon discovery, he found the Sun Chariot of Kensep, Ankh of Kensep, and Scarab of Kalai. The team also found the Tablet of Sanctuary. It was bittersweet, however. The hieroglyphs was tough to decipher. Tuffle decided to call for help from Param's greatest translators, Dumar, Thark, and Slufara. It's not known what the guys uncovered so far, but what they found left more questions than answers. The translating ceremony was cut short, however, thanks to the betrayal of Slufara and a small band of Underworlders. But Slufara didn't succeed in taking the location thanks to the timely intervention of Mapedian soldiers, forcing the rebels to retreat. For now, this is all we know about the city of Kensep, but hopefully when the Chaotic series come back, it'll dive into the history of the tablet and a possible connection with the Kothika. Maybe it helped with defeating the Merlins the first time, we don't know. City of Kensep, Tablet Dig Site Initiative Mapedian At the beginning of combat, each player reveals the top two cards in their attack deck. Any player who reveals three or more total build costs in attacks puts two counters on their engaged creature. Put the reveal cards on the bottom of the attack deck in any order. Star Towers of Kensep, Initiative Air. At the start of combat, the controller of the engaged creature with the highest wisdom may remove one counter from a creature they control. If they do, they may put a counter on a creature they control. A Tablet of Sanctuary Initiative Speed At the beginning of combat, the engaged creature with the most elemental types gains a counter. Flavor text reads, Though the tablet answered many long debated questions, not every creature liked the answers. And that was chaotic lore about the City of Kensep, Star Towers, and Tablet of Sanctuary. If you like this video and want to see more videos, please leave a comment below. Let me know which kind of video you want me to talk about where it comes to a creature, battle gear, location, whatever. And I'll put on the list. Like and subscribe, share this with your friends, and I'll see you guys next time for more chaotic lore. Peace.